It's all about the data. Um, so at this juncture, you know, we know that smoldering myeloma is a very heterogeneous entity. Uh, we know that patients who have higher smoldering myeloma will progress um, at a fast rate, but patients with lower risk disease don't progress. And so we break them down, but even our breakdown is imperfect. So that's the hard part, one hard part. And the second is that there really is only one randomized clinical trial so far that actually shows an improved overall survival um, with intervention. That's the Spanish trial um, led by uh, Mariti Mateos. And that study was done more than a decade ago and they used lenalidomide and DEX versus observation, but it was in a day before the new definition for my, multiple myeloma. So uh, um, a lot of the um, smoldering, or we don't know what percentage of smoldering myeloma in that trial would now meet criteria for active myeloma. So it's hard to generalize. And then the other randomized trial is the ECOG study but that only shows a progression-free survival with Revlimid maintenance as compared to observation. We don't have overall survival information. And so then there are dozens of trials, um, you know, that are maybe phase two. There's one randomized trial out there, um, daratumumab versus observation and smoldering, but we don't have a readout on that yet. Um, but all the rest are kind of phase two in high-risk patients. So we just don't have the data to make it a standard to treat um, smoldering myeloma at this juncture.